attachments also. Now somebody has too much attachment say, for the family, for the wife, for the children, you know, so. And once they come to Sajo, still they have same amount of attachment. All right, well done. But how far they will go with that attachment? How long it will continue is the point. You should be detached. If I say you cannot, it's a state. It's a state of mind where you are detached. But when it comes to doing something for them, you will go all out to help them. But you are not an attached person. Now, what is the description of an attached person? Attached person is always worried about the other person. Goes on thinking about the other person. Cannot think of the yoga. Only think of the people with whom he is attached. Then he is very sensitive. You can't say anything to his brother, sister or anyone. Otherwise, he jumps. Attachment is also with the name that he has. Supposing he has achieved a certain name, suppose, or some big position, then what does he do? You can't challenge him anyway. You cannot by any words you can challenge him. Because he is so identified with that. He thinks he is a big a person who has achieved such a lot of positions in life is so much attached that he wants, uh, wants you, the Guru to pay respect to that attachment. Now, which is the way you can get it? solve that problem? Supposing somebody is very much attached to his wife, say for him, then he should not discuss and argue with that person. Because he is still coming up slowly, slowly up to this stage. Such a person is not absolutely a perfect surgeon. So what do you have to do? is attached to his wife, let it be. But the divine will work it out. And he will realize that what he has been thinking, doing, and taking decisions is all wrong. And once he discovered it himself, then he will get detached. But if you go on telling him anything and try to argue it out, it will never work. So you must understand that as human beings, whatever we wear, also as Sahaja Yogis, we have problems. And these should be slowly, slowly should be dissolved. Not by argument, not by saying things, but by love and compassion. If you have love, for a person. You'll be amazed, 99% people value love. This is the third quality of human being. First is his inheritance, second is his things, and thirdly that he values love. Anybody who loves is another person who values that love. Because he thinks that this particular person is loving me, not my wealth, not my beauty, not my existence, but he's loving me. And this idea of love, this is something that will get him completely detached from that person easily. How? It looks very funny. That if you like somebody, if you love somebody, and then you should get detached. 
is only possible in Sahaja Yoga. In Sahaja Yoga, the state of mind is such that you are absolutely detached and absolutely attached. For example, let us know. Say, I have my birth. So, I am detached. I never telephone to her. I am never bothered about her. Because in Sahaja Yoga, you know how is that person. If the vibration is all right, why should you telephone? Why should you talk to her? Why should you ask for anything? No need. Only on vibrations you will know how the person is. And so it will seem that you are absolutely detached. But when you will find the vibrations are showing or are indicating something serious about that person, what you will do, you will put full attention to that. Full attention. You put attention, but not attachment. So the attachment doesn't solve the problem. What solves the problem is attention. But when you are not detached, then your attention is attached to attention. It's an attention that is not available to everyone, an attention that gets stuck, absolutely stuck into uh, that person with whom you are identified. Try to understand. So to be identified with someone is not actually what we can say paying attention to that person. And then your attention will work. If you are of that level, whenever you put attention to that particular person who needs your attention, it will work. But if you are all the time wasting your attention, on a person, because you are attached to that person, your attention will be tired. It won't work out. It's a big, uh, I should say, a paradox. But if you are attached to someone, then your attention doesn't work. And if you are not attached to that person, you do everything else. Now you have to give lecture all the time, give lecture, then I have to do some cooking, I'll do cooking, do that, 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 that. But all the time if you are thinking about that person, all the time you want to have connection with that person, it's not necessary. That person is all right. What is there to be so much worried about that person? After all, you have to do so yoga, you have to do so many things, you have to raise good and me have so many. Now you are getting attached to one person somewhere is not a very good thing. By that kind of attachment, your attention also becomes useless, absolutely useless. So let the attention be free. Attention should not be bound by your attachments. Attention should be absolutely free. So, it works automatically. Automatically. And you will be amazed, even if you do not pay attention, the attention will work. It is such a great thing to have this spiritual attention. It is nothing but love. It will just act. You will be amazed how it acts. It's another world I'm talking about, not this mundane world, but something higher, where your attention works, and works so beautifully that you are amazed how it can work. But you should not bound it by your attachments. If it is bound, you can have a very limited sphere. Only the people who are attached to you, or you are attached to those persons. That's why identification is not the way a guru should work with us. 